All right, guys, in this lesson, we are going to talk about webinar funnel. So get excited because this is the funnel how you can really automate and scale your business to the stars. So let's get right into it. Um, to be able to edit this funnel and claim it, you need to first register for ClickFunnels, right? So click the link in the resources attached to this video. It will take you to the landing page where you will put your name, email, email, and then it will get you here where you will start your free trial. And then you can click here and that will get this webinar funnel directly to your ClickFunnels account. So let's get right into it. So when you click, click it, then uh, you start, you want to start editing. You can uh, edit the links first accordingly to the lesson that we covered in this in this course. So we will not going to go through that now. But uh, you know, if you don't know how it how it uh, how you should do it, then you just go back to that lesson. And here, so let's start editing the funnel. So this is the first step. And uh, so here um, you want to put your logo, right, and uh, headline what your webinar is going to be about. Here you want to put some benefits, right, what people will learn. And um, you can keep like, exclusive here. It just increase conversions, right? You can just change your name. And um, then this is where you may want to put a video. You can upload it to Vimeo and uh, just talking about uh, the webinar what's going to be about. Or if you don't want video, you can just put some nice picture of you here, right? You just choose image and uh, you just put some nice picture of you. If you don't want to create video, right? You will just upload it right here. So, <clears throat> and then this is the uh, ever, evergreen timer that resets every uh, let's check every um, yeah I think it's like every 10 minutes so people feel like it's always live right so and that also increased conversions as well here you can put some testimonials and when people click this, they, the pop-up will show up, right? So you want to also edit this right here. And uh, make sure that you set up your active campaign with this button. So I showed you how to set up these out automations in your active campaign. So just uh, if you've forgotten, then you just go back to that lesson and rewatch it. But you will basically just create list again for webinar and in your active campaign and then you just come here to integrations and uh, you will choose active campaign and uh, add to list with tag as well and then here you will just put that list that you just created right the webinar and uh, then you will choose tag right the is it's really for you just to stay organized so you can put a webinar right just like that and then it's connected but make sure that you create that list and uh, that automation in your active campaign accordingly to that uh, previous lesson in this course so after you did that everything should be set up and uh, you can just save it and uh, you can go to the confirmation page and edit that as well and uh, So here we go. So also what you should send to that person when they opt in, you may want to uh, put there the information how long the webinar will take, uh, the instructions that they should use desktop computer because webinars really are buggy on mobile phones, right? So you want to make sure that people hop on through the desktop and not mobile phones. Here is timer as well. And uh, you can put also the video again, right? And it's after this timer ends, people will be redirected to the live webinar, right? 
but if they don't want to wait, they can also click the button right here. So this increased conversions as well because uh, some people just don't want to wait, they, you know, so they can come here. So you want to keep this button right here. And uh, so people will click it and they will come to the webinar, right? And uh, just like that, they will just click to join live webinar right here and the webinar will start, right? So you can see it's really simple once you know how to do it. And then you just save it and you go back, you click exit, and then you want to edit your broadcast room where you will, uh, where your webinar will be played. So you just click edit page, and uh, here you also you want to upload uh, your training to Vimeo. It works, you know, it, uh, it works much better than YouTube because it's a private platform and uh, you don't have a logo of YouTube in there. So you know you want to use that. So then you just click it and then you just put after you upload your video to Vimeo, you will just put your link right here. And then uh, accordingly to uh, how you want to keep these things here so people know that they should click to a start webinar and also you want to keep this short sentence here so people do not accidentally close their window because otherwise webinar will end. Here uh, accordingly to how long will your training is going to be, you want to let people know, right? If it's going to be one hour, then you just put 60 minutes here and delete the hour, right? So you, because people want to know how long it will take, otherwise they may just close the webinar and never, never finish the training, never watch it, right? And uh, so after, you want to also put here the uh, URL of your um, order page to your sales funnel that we just set up in the previous lesson. We were talking about sales funnel. So let's do it right now. Um, so let's put click funnels here and uh, let's grab your order page. So you come to funnels, you come to sales funnel and um, order page. And then you just want to you know you can you can edit it right here. Here will be you can edit the path. We also were talking about how to create custom URL links, so you can rewatch that lesson as well. And uh, yeah, like uh, webinar, right? So you put just link like the page, and then you always want to grab the link that it, that will show up here because sometimes these links change. So my link is currently like uh, like this because I haven't attached the domain to that uh, particular funnel. But uh, you are supposed to claim your domain, so you will have a link here, and then you will just grab it, and then you will come to your webinar, and you will put it right here. So so people will get redirected. To the other page when this timer ends after the training is done, right? And the same here. This is the button. If people, uh, when people want to, they, you know, they have enough training. They already want to see the other page, so you can, uh, you know, put this button here, and uh, you can just keep that button there. You will click here, set action, and you will put the same link right here. And uh, you just keep everything like it is. And you also want to uh, keep this headline in here, these increased conversions. If you want to, if your course, if your product is more expensive, then what you want to do is set a timer here, right? So it's delayed. So people, because, you know, uh, when people do not have enough information about your product, every price may be too much, right? So because what happens is after a minute, people may click it and they will find out that your course costs $2,000 and then they will just, uh, you know, they will not be interested anymore. But if you 
to delay this button, uh, you choose fade in, and you delay it, let's say, uh, to the time when uh, you will have a call to action in your training. So let's say your uh, webinar takes 60 minutes, but you will talk about uh, the actual price and uh, call to action to, to buy your product in the 45, after 45 minutes, then you will just put in here. So the button will show up when uh, actually when uh, you will you know want people to come to the order page. So this is a little trick that you can use. And uh, as you can see now, uh, the button uh, will not be there right away, right? So it will show up after 45 minutes. But if you're if you're if you're not selling to expensive course, if it's like under 500 bucks, then you can keep that button right there and uh, see what happens. Just, you know, you have to experiment a lot and see uh, how you can uh, increase conversions and increase uh, the amount of students that will enroll to your program. And uh, another thing, so you always want to save it. And another thing you want to just replicate everything what you did here and put it to webinar replay room as well, right? So you make sure that it's basically the same thing. It's just for people who will click on that replay button. So you, people who don't want to wait for the live webinar, right? And um, so the same thing, you will just set it up accordingly to the previous one. So guys, I hope that you are getting excited because uh, webinars are really how people create themselves, uh, how people make themselves into millionaires and beyond. It's fully scalable. You don't have to, you know, uh, you always need to start selling things one on one, and so to learn the process, and then you can, hope, then you can put this process into one one hour, one ninety minute video where it will just sell itself, right? But um, yeah, make sure that you always optimize the process so uh, you can actually sell something. That's why you also need to do some one-on-one -on -one sales calls so you can learn to sell and learn these techniques, right? So uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson how to create an evergreen webinar and I'm excited for you. So. Uh, yeah, let's let's get to the next one.